Hi, Eamon. I, uh, I don't really think that it's the case at all that what we do is worthy of any significant amount of criticism because of the absence of scientific support for a ban on welfare grounds in this country. I, re I really don't think it's the case. And then also uh, public opinion, no matter what the, the opinion polls say, I would, uh, I would question them. If they were at all accurate, we wouldn't be here working. Well, you know, it's awesome to see, and these animals look incredibly healthy. They look happy as well. And um, I, I just sit here and I wonder, you know, just in this day and age, it's not right to see that sort of thing. And I think people ask a question, uh, how do you tame a lion to perform tricks? Can you assure them that there is no cruelty involved in that? I can, yes. It, lions and tigers are like any other animal. They're not animals that have to be forced into anything through cruelty. That's not the way any form of training works. It's not the way any decent form of training has ever worked. You can train any sort of animal, whether wild or domestic, to perform actions. The, the issue that a lot of um, the advocates for animal rights have with what we do is just a purely, it's purely a matter of context. No one has issues with animals being trained for obedience, whether it's uh, your own house pets at home, your dogs or your cats, or animals in zoos but the second it's labeled entertainment that's when people have the issue with it Thomas, um, i've got three typical teenage children and i think my children would have a real problem with going to see your show with these lions in it um, because their view would be well lions shouldn't be in this scenario they should be out in the wild so bearing that in mind if they are typical in the future there is going to be no demand for um, this kind of act anyway well I'm, uh, I'm sorry to say that that's just not the case in terms of the general public's opinion. If that was the case, like I said already, we wouldn't be here working. Yeah. Where are you banned? Where are you not allowed to work, Thomas? Well, we're allowed to work uh, pretty much anywhere where there's been no actual ban been put in place. Yeah, OK. Um, and just final question to you. Incidentally, I believe a swear word slipped out. I haven't, I didn't notice it, but viewers at home have noticed it. So we just have to apologise um, for your potty mouth there. So forgive that. Forgive us for that. I, I, I didn't swear. Well I, well, I didn't hear you say it, my friend, but somebody says you did. Just in case, we're just covering ourselves. Um, but uh, basically, getting in, I mean, those beasts, at any stage, those magnificent animals could decide to have you for tea. Well, to have you for breakfast, lunch or tea are all three. Um, how scary is it in there? Well, I've never been worried working with my animals. I've always respected them for what they are, remembered what they are and taken that into account when working with them. I don't force them into performing actions they're not comfortable doing. That's not the way I work with my animals. The way I introduce them to new actions is on a, a gradual basis, making sure they're comfortable with it and if I don't feel they're up to any particular action on any given day I won't make them do it. Yeah. Okay, okay, Thomas, um, very interesting. You'll get people talking today. Appreciate your time and your trouble today and um, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. Thank you. Thomas Chipper.